Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here. I thank and praise God for being here. I count it a, a, a pleasure, a privilege, an honor. Amen. To be here to stand before the people of God. Everyone can be seated, please. Thank you. Thank you, Father. I want to thank and praise God for Pastor Davidson. You'll be honored. Thank God for you. Amen. I thank and praise God for everyone in their respectful place. Amen. Pastor Aaron made me want to rap. <laughs> Make me want to be a rapper. <laughs> so the jacket said, no, 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 one rap is enough. <laughs> Man, that, that rap was so good. Almost raised it to my feet, almost came up there to want, want to bebop and rap with it. <laughs> but I, I had to come back to reality. I can't rap. <laughs> I got to wait. Amen. 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 But 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 the Bible says I can do all things. Through Christ. Who strengthen me. Amen. 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 I can do it. Amen. All things being equal. Amen. 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 Let's buy his in a moment of prayer. Thank you, Father. Lord, we come to right now, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, we just thank you, Father, for you, Father. We give it the honor, we give it the glory, Father. Lord, we owe it all to you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your love, Father, that you have shown us, Father, the great love that you have shown us. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the love that you have shown us. You say, greater love has no man than this, that a man will lay down his life for his friends. You say that when, when we was yet enemies, you died for us. Lord, we thank you, Father, for looking beyond our fault and seeing our needs. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your long suffering. Lord, we just give you the honor. We give you the glory, Father. Lord, you said it's not your will that no man should perish, but all come to repentance and be saved. Lord, we just thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you. Lord, we thank you for this great opportunity that you have presented unto us. Lord, you said a time and a chance come to every man. And we thank you for it, Lord. Lord, I want to thank you for your people, Father. Lord, I want to thank you for the anointing. I ask you, Father, to anoint the, the ears, the mind, the heart. Father, anoint them, Father, that they can receive your word on good ground in their heart. And Lord, I'm asking you, Father, to bring forth the, the, the increase, Father. Give an increase, Father. Lord, you give the increase. It's not he that sold, not he that water, but you that give the increase. Lord, we ask you to give increase, Father, in Jesus' name. To the hearers of your word, Father. Yes, Lord. Lord, you say, whosoever hear your word, harden not their hearts. Yes, Lord. Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for the anointing that you have placed upon me, Father, to preach and teach your word, Father. And Lord, I ask you for even a fresher anointing, Father. Yes, yes, Lord. Lord, that I can speak only what you have me to say, Father. Let me hear clear signing words of you, Father. Lord, that I must say unto the people, Father, that you would have me to say, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Praise God. <clears throat> you know, um, we come to church every Sunday, just about every Sunday, unless something happened to throw the schedule off. But we schedule to come to church every Sunday. And then the minister uh, must come up with a message for the people. And we hear the message of the word of God day in, day out, week in, week out, money in, money out, year in, year out. Amen? Amen. 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 I'm going to wait until I get some attention for this. I see people looking off, paying attention to everything that moves. <laughs> and I ain't with it. I don't like my preacher to be in vain. Amen. Amen. This is hard labor here. Trust me, it's hard to, to come up with a message to give to the people that they need. That's going to benefit them, bring, bring growth, bring increase into your lives. Amen. 
this this is a sacrifice that I have to make and present my body to him a living holy sacrifice holy that's acceptable unto him that I could be used by him that I could be a good vessel that unto good works amen amen so uh anyway um we come to church and we hear the word of God we hear the word of God preach in and out but what are we doing with it we hear it it sounds good we laugh we giggle amen and you say oh he really preached oh he really taught that word but if he really taught that word he really preached what are you what are you doing with the message it's a message in the into the, the preaching and the teaching there's a message that that's given to you to improve your life to bring success to your life but if you don't take this message, this word of God, these instructions of God that you hear and apply to your life, then you're going to remain the same and even get worse. Yeah. You're, you're coming to church and hearing the word of God is all in vain. And the preaching is in vain. Yeah. Amen. It's falling on deaf, deaf, deaf ear, really. Because the Bible said that it's not the hearers only that are going to be justified. You know? We, we, we got to be more than just hearers, but we got to be hearers because we can't be doers unless we first hear. Amen. We can't believe uh, uh, unless we hear first. But after we hear, we need to do something with it. The, the enemy is defeating us all because of our lack of knowledge and because of our lack of obedience. Applying the knowledge even after we hear it. I had came and turned that air conditioner. I tried to turn it up. Did it, did it go up? Y'all kind of hot. It's kind of stuffy in here. I wear these three three piece suit. When I wear the three piece suit, I got to come out this jacket. I get a little warm. Amen. My tie right. So the jacket. She hooking me up. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I'm good now. So the jacket. All right. Good. 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 All right. All right. It's all good to come to church looking good and whatnot. That's all good. You know, you know where it started from dressing up to come to church? No one know, huh? <laughs> you remember when they met, when, when, when God told, he told um, Abraham, Moses, he told Moses to tell the people to sanctify themselves and meet them at the, at the bottom of the mouth. That sanctify means clean up, dress up. You don't go before the king dirty. No. Stinky and looking bad. Ah. You dress up to go to the you go before the king. When Joseph when Joseph came out of the, the prison, what what the first thing he did? He cleaned up. He took a bath. Why? Because he was getting ready to go before the king. <laughs> Our king is the king of king and lord of lords of all. Amen. We talking about the supreme being. That's why we dress up. You understand? But it's not all about that. God, God used that back in the Old Testament for our for our learning. As an example, yeah. um, um, that was uh, symbolic, symbolic was an example, the physical, for the spiritual. We supposed all we supposed to clean up spiritually. Yes. And how do we clean up spiritually? By getting sin out of our lives. Yeah. Being conscientious, not careless, but conscientious, being careful on how you're living, the things you do. Amen. Our conduct. We are to be mindful of how we live in before God. And we live before him each and every day because the Bible says he sits high, look low, behold the good and of all men. And he know the, the, the hidden secrets of, of our hearts. He knows what we do behind the closed doors. See, man might only know what you do in front of the closed doors, but God see it all. Amen. And he's the one, he's the one that we got to give truly give an account for. You understand? 
He's going to render to every man according to his what? Your lifestyle, your word. Amen. And, and nobody, no one is going to get by. No one. God has no respect of person. Amen. What he do for one, he do for all. Amen. What he say to one, he say to all. Amen. If you find favor with him, you must find favor with him by being obedient to him. Then he'll favor you. Amen. Last week, um, I spoke in um, um, Pastor uh, Davison gave me a call and um, she said that she would like for me because we ran out of time, remember? Y'all put me up late yes, last last week. This week, I think y'all put me up a little earlier, right? But but y'all still don't want me to take too long, right? <laughs> so you might be up early, but don't be taking too long now. My, my, my max is an hour, okay? But I, if I can finish this before an hour, I will. But my max is an hour, unless y'all ask me for more. If you ask me for more, I'll give you some more. Amen? Amen. But um, we left off in um, Mark, I do believe. We left off at Mark, the 11th chapter. Amen? And we was talking about principles principle of the facts principles and facts the fact of the matter is based upon the principle principles show forth facts your facts is talking about things that become a reality if it's not a reality it's not a fact. Amen? Amen. So we want to look at the facts. We want to look at principles that brings about uh, facts in our lives, brings about the reality. And we have to have to judge things based upon the fact. Reality, we have to, we have to examine ourselves, right? Check things out. Do, do inventory. Look at it. And, and then we come up with, 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 with the truth of the matter. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? There's an old saying says, I'm going to wait until she sits down too. You know, that's that's the trick of the enemy. I always want to throw you off. Get your uh, uh, your, attract, your, your uh, attention. You know, the Bible says, take heed what you hear, that you don't let nothing slip. You're going to miss something. The enemy always want to distract you. And if you miss a little bit, it just throws everything off. You know? You can't miss one piece of the puzzle. You got to have all the pieces. Amen. Amen. What was I saying? See, y'all throw me off. Huh? <laughs> huh? Uh? Principles and facts. Amen. Principles brings in the fact, reality, if you abide by the principle. Amen. If we apply the principle, the fact, the fact will show. It'll show what the principle will, will, will cause to come, to come to reality. Am I am I saying it right? Yes. I'm not I'm not a, a, a all the way total educated man, <laughs> but I know a little something. Amen. And I can punch you po point you in the right direction of where you should go. Amen. But now it's up to you to go. You got to do the rest. Amen. Yeah. All right. Let's get it started. Let's get it on. Um. Just trying to get warmed up here. Now you crank the car up, the old car get, you got to crank it up, let it warm up a little bit. If you crank it up, let it warm up a little bit, it'll, 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 it'll perform better for you. Amen. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right. Um, the 11th chapter of Mark, starting at the 22nd verse. We read this last week. I didn't, uh, I, this is where I stopped. I had a few more to, um, to, to share. A um, couple more to share. Say again. Huh? Somebody say something? Oh, okay. All right, cool. But anyway, let's read. It says, And Jesus answered and said unto them, Have faith in God. 
And thank God, point out, that's all we need. Faith in God, like, like Jesus told Martha, only one thing is needed. Only one thing is needful. And Mary had chosen the best part, which she was sitting at the foot of Jesus, listening to his words, his teachings, the instruction that will lead you to success. Amen. If you do them. Amen. He says, for verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. The mountain represent a problem in your life. What is the problems that we experience in life? Poverty. Right? Huh? huh? Physical problems. Physical problems, which is afflictions. Disease, sickness, come on now. Financial, as uh, the uh, financial, poverty, amen. These are all the problems that 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 we as a people experience that cause us to have or um, a, a, um, defeated life. That and when we live in a defeated life, we're not happy. It takes away our joy of living. You understand? So, so, so what we got to do is figure out how could we live above these problems? If you got a problem in your life, what must I do to get rid of it? He said, if you say unto this mountain, he said, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. Listen to what he said. And doubt not. That's a key verse. What is the key? I think we kind of went over that. The doubt. What do the doubt mean again? Who did anybody brought some tape this today? <laughs> we got this smarty pants over here. They killing all the answers. <laughs> who who remember what the word doubt mean? At least what I taught it that it meant. Who remember? Anyone remember? Huh? This is what I'm talking about, about coming to church, hearing the teaching, hearing the message, but you're not receiving the message. You're not meditating on the message. You don't take it home with you and restudy it. You know, the, the Bible said that the people search the scriptures to see what, what Paul was teaching was so. See, this is this this is the power of God. That is given to us, which is his word, to change our lives, to move these mountains that's in our lives. But if we don't apply it, we, we're not going to move the mountain. And the mountain is going to be there hindering us, destroying us until we are dead. So all of your life, you're going to live a defeated life, a life of misery, not a life of joy. Your life is going to be miserable. Amen. So, so you got to learn, you, go, you come to school, you learn the lesson. You got to take the lesson, you got to meditate the lesson, you got to let the lesson sink in. Let the lesson build character. You understand? See, you're, you're acting upon the, the lesson is what's going to build a character, make you, you understand? We're supposed to be living epistles, the living word of God. Amen? Because we live in the word of God, we become the word of God. Amen. So so this doubt means to quit, to stop. OK, he says, and doubt not in his heart, because from the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. They're talking about your action, your conduct. What's in your heart, you're going to you're going to you, you, you're going to conduct yourself based upon what's in your heart. That's how you're going to live. Hello. That's why that's why. I think what David was saying, the Lord created to me a what? Clean, Clean heart. Somebody else said, we'll do what with the spirit? Right. Renew a what? Right. right spirit in me. Yeah. The Holy Spirit. You understand? See, so, so what he's talking about is don't doubt in your heart. A lot of people think doubt is talking about your mind. I don't care how the enemy speak to your mind. Tell you things that's contrary to what God say, but it means nothing. The Bible says, "Cast down every imagination that is all this up over the knowledge of God of what God say." We cast it down, we push it away. He says, "Submit yourself unto God, resist the devil, and you'll do what? 
he'll flee. He'll leave you alone. But he's only going to leave you alone for a season. He'll be back later. <laughs> and you put the same thing on him that you put on him before. Do you understand what I'm saying? See, listen. <clears throat> I'm trying to... The ministers, pastors, whatever, whatever position you may have, bishop, teacher, evangelist, whatever, you're a your minister. And, and a minister is, is a caretaker of God's people. Okay? Now, what a minister does when he's sharing the word and whatnot is he's trying to persuade you. He's, he's getting a message and he's trying to teach the message, uh, preach the message in such a way to persuade you. What he's trying to persuade you to do. He's trying to persuade you to do things God's way. And the way he's trying to trying to persuade you to do things God's way is he's trying to show you in the scripture, using the word of God, that God's way is better than your way. That if you do God, if you do things, conduct yourself God's way, you can't fail. You will succeed because God is there to give you the increase. God is there to make it work. Why? Because the Bible says God watches over his word to perform it, to make it work. Y'all ever saw this um, 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 commercial, the Maytag man? Long time they had those, those Maytag, the washing machines, the dryers. Huh? Huh? I'm dating myself. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm 61. I tell it. <laughs> I'm 61. I thank God for it. Amen. 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 Listen, those the Maytag, they say the Maytag man, he stand by to make it work. Amen. That's what God do. God watches over Amen. his word. What is he watching? He watching to see who has believed his report. Yes, my God. Who has obeyed what God say? Who have did who have who have handled the situation based upon what God say to handle it? Yes. Who have did what God told him to do concerning the situation? Yes. The Bible says when you do what God tell you to do concerning the situation, he said, to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? Yes. That means that God come on the scene and make it work. Yes. See, yes. never seen a righteous what? Forsaken, nor his seed, his children, begging for bread. Why? Because God don't forsake that righteous man. The righteous man, God prosper. Blessed is the man that, that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sit in the seat of the scoffer. But his delight is in the Lord of the Lord. And do we meditate therein both day and night? He should be like a tree planted beside the rivers of water that bring forth his fruit in due season. And whatsoever he doing shall prosper. See, see, you can't lose when you use what God say. The only time that you will, will, will fail. See, 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 sin. Is the failure of man. There is nothing else that caused man to fail, to live defeated, but sin. See, see, when you live, I'm gonna show you this. When you live according to the word of God, that's all you got, that's all God requires. He said, Obey me. That's all he said. That's your that's your requirement to obey God. That's what he required you to do. When you submit yourself to God in total obedience, not partial, you understand? Amen. Because he said for you to be lukewarm, you spew out his mouth, right? He said he will not share you because he's jealous. Like a like a like a, a real man is over his wife, he's jealous. He ain't gonna share his wife with nobody. Hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. You can bother my money. You can yeah. you can bother my car. Yeah. Yeah. You can bother my my, my, my house. Yeah. You might can even bother my children. But just don't bother with my honey. <laughs> if you bother that honey, the Bible said that that he won't take no 
No bribe, no nothing. You can't give him nothing to, to calm his anger. When, when you buy the real man wife, he want a key. Whether he key or not, that's another thing. But he want to key. See, because a real man, he valued his wife more higher than any and everything he possessed. Amen. 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 That's where the real man's happiness at. She makes him happy. See, all the stuff that he got, the cars, the money, the houses, all the stuff he got, it's for her. Amen. It's for her to enjoy. See, because God, God gave the woman her hair for her glory. The hair represent her beauty. Yes. It represent her, how do you say it? Her enjoyment. Mm -hmm. See, see, looking good. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? See, when a when a woman, a woman drives a nice car, she looks good and she feels good. Amen. <laughs> when she eats good food, she looks good and she feels good. When she when she when she when she, when she, when she in a nice house, she looks good and she feels good. When she wear nice clothes, she look good and she feels good. Are y'all understanding this? You understand this? See, this is what the man give her in exchange for her. Amen. All he wants is her. Amen. But he wants her all to himself. <laughs> he don't want to share with nobody else. You understand what I'm saying? You know, he said, hey, baby, if you give me all of you, you can have all of this. That's what God telling us. Yes. God tell us the same thing. Amen. Amen. That's why he compare our relationship with him Amen. like the man relationship with his wife. Amen. God said, all I want you to do is just be all mine. Amen. Just obey me only. Amen. Submit yourself to me only. Be loyal to me. Yes. Yes. Give me your whole self. Yes. Not partial. Yes, but your whole self. He said, if you give me your whole self, I'm going to prove this now. We're going to go into this today. He said, he said, if you give me your whole self, he said, I'll take care of you. Jesus. I'll provide for you. And he won't only just take care of you, provide for you, see. See, he won't just give you food. He won't just give you, you know, thing. he said, I'll give you the best. Yes. The best of the land. Yes. See, when a man really love his wife, he wanted to have the best. He don't want to just have a car, but he want to have the best. You understand what I'm saying? See when he when he when he treat her like that and all like that, she be all oh. Uh, I, I bought these Gucci uh, uh, shades from from this brother. I was just helping him out. She get all Gucci. <laughs> She just be melting. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Don't be sitting up like you all never got melt before. You know, you know, you know, you know, man, that you know, put that thing on you, make you all, all, all Gucci. <laughs> you understand? Whatever he wants you right there. You, you know, you just go on, <laughs> do it, baby. <laughs> it's yours. <laughs> Come on now, tell the truth. Amen. See, that's when a woman is in her right mind. Amen. Wanting the right things. Yes. You understand? Amen. But you got some women that's perverted. Ah. Just like you got some men that perverted. Amen. They don't know how to treat their wife. They don't know how to treat a woman. You understand what I'm saying? And then you got some women, no matter how good the man treat them, still ain't enough. Mama. They want the unforbidden. They want the, um, what do you call it, forbidden? They want the forbidden, what do you call it? They want the forbidden fruit. Wow. They want to go out there and get something that ain't right for them to have. Yeah. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. Y'all got me off my subject. Yeah. I'm in the house. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Let's go a little bit more. Amen. Amen. Listen to this. All seriousness now. What hinder us? Sometimes um, we got to sometimes you know, before you quit doing something, you got to first start. Before you quit doing something, you got to first start what? Right. Doing it. If you don't ever start doing it, how can you quit? Yeah. So you got some people that don't even start. Yeah. 
Right. Don't even apply it. But then you have the others that do apply it. But when the trials and tribulation come, they get discouraged because they begin to wonder what doesn't happen. You know, what's what's going on? See, they don't know what's going on. They don't know what time it is. So they get this encouraged, they get discouraged and then they quit. You know, God told Joshua, he said, he said, be of, of, of great courage. He said, only be that strong. Very courageous Amen. to observe to do all. Yeah. Oh. Say, then should I make that way? Right. And then should I be yes. good success? Yes. Come on, yes. come on. You can't get discouraged in doing the right thing. You understand? Be not weary in well doing. good things, well doing, obeying God. Yes. He said, because. In due season, you will reap if you don't faint. He said, cast your bread upon the water. And in due time, it will return to you. You understand? Don't expect to sow your seed today and reap the harvest tomorrow. You got to put your work in. There's a process. There's a system that you got to work. God give us a system to work. We got to learn the system. Then we got to work the system, and we got to work the system. Cons, cons, how you say it? Tap into it and work it. You got to tap into the system by learning the system. Then you got to work the system continuously without stopping. Because when you stop working God's system, you're going to create what they call crop failure. I think I shared that yes. how I how I didn't work the system and I went out there and, and destroyed my whole crop all because I violated did what I wasn't supposed to do you understand what I'm saying you cannot start out right and then end up wrong and expect and expect to get what God promised you you're not going to get what he promised you if you don't follow all the way through you got to follow the system all the way through you got to stick with it. Hello. I, I see a lot of paper and pencils being being passed around. Y'all writing this thing down. <laughs> Don't be sitting on notes talking about other stuff. <laughs> All right. <laughs> listen, listen. Let's go again. He says, he says, for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain. First, he said, have faith. Having faith is, is, is knowing what God has said. So what are you saying to the mountain? You saying what God say to the mountain, to the problem, to the situation. You speak the word of God because the word of God is life. It's alive and, and it accomplished what it's sent out to do. So you speak the word concerning that situation, the proper word concerning that situation. You got to find the proper word concerning that situation. You got to find uh, on the uh, just what God has said concerning that situation, you can't just say anything. You take it out of context. You take it out of order. But you got to find the, the proper word for that situation, and you speak that word concerning that situation. Amen. Amen. And he said, "Listen, what he said. He said, who's verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto to say what God say unto this mountain, this situation, this problem, he said, uh, uh, be thy removed." And be thy cast into the sea, he said, and shall not doubt. Don't quit. Don't doubt in his heart. Don't quit. Don't give up. Amen. He says, but 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 continue the whole process, right? He says, but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. Believe is an action word means to obey. It means you got to continue. Faith without works is dead. That means you got to keep on working it. You got to work that system. You got to work that thing. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, so he believing in his heart that those things come to pass. And the reason why you, you, you're working it, you believe that it's gonna come to pass, that's why you're doing it. If you didn't, if you didn't believe that it was gonna come to pass, if you didn't have no faith, no trust that it's gonna come to pass, then you wouldn't do what you're doing. See, it, it, uh, uh, when you stop doing what you're doing, it shows a lack of uh, of trust. Amen. So look what he said. These things, but shall believe that that those things which he said shall come to pass. He shall have whatsoever he saith. 
Amen. Two things that we got to understand that 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 how the enemy defeat us. He defeat us based upon our conduct and based upon what we say out our mouth. We got to make sure that our conduct is always in obedience to the word of God. And we got to make sure that what we say out of our mouth is always in, 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 in accordance with what God say. We can't know Joshua again. First chapter six, uh, uh, eight verses said the, the, this book of the law should not depart out of my mouth. You can't let it depart out of your mouth. You know, for, do seven say I meditate in day and night to observe to do. That's one observing to do. Then eight is 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 not letting it depart out your mouth. You got to meditate in it in order to keep it in your mouth. You got to learn it and keep it in your mouth. Keep your conduct in accordance and and, 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 and keep it in your mouth. Yeah. Don't let no situation uh, come up in your life to discourage you, to discourage you to to disobey God. You understand? Yeah. You understand? Because God allows situation to occur to test you, to try you. Yeah. And, 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 and when you're being tested and tried, it's not easy stuff. It's hard stuff. It's it's so hard that it makes you want to quit. Sometimes it make you want to die. You got to stick it out and trust God. He said, he said, after you have suffered a while, he said, then will he establish you? He established your life yeah. on success, a life of, life of success. Listen. He said, therefore, he said, for this reason, for this cause, for this reason, I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye have received them and ye shall have them. You believe that you received it already. Yes. Amen. Because because you know who God is. You can trust him. He's not a man. He needs to lie. He faithful just to perform all that he had promised. You, you know that your labor is not in vain. You, you know it's going to come. Ah, man, I already got it. How do you know you already got it? Because God don't lie. It's impossible for him to lie. He can't lie. Amen? And then so we, we went to the 25th verse, and we talked about what? We talked about, and when ye stand praying, forgive if ye have all against any. Right? And that's a big problem. He says that your father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. Uh-oh. You got to learn to forgive others because if you don't forgive others, nor will you be forgiven your trespass. He said, but if ye do not forgive, neither will your father, which is in heaven, forgive you your trespasses. We can't be holding grudges. A person turn when we, we covered that. When is it time to forgive when they turn and repent? The Bible said, if your brother turn and repent, he said, forgive him, even if it's seven, seven times, 70 a day. Amen. Now, let's speed it up a little bit. Let's go to um to Hebrew four. Hebrew four. Hebrew four. And we're going to start at the first verse. Amen. Listen closely and see lie. What does see lie mean? We just read some of that see lie stuff. Huh? See lie. Think about it. See lie. Think about what's being said. Do it make sense? And if it makes sense, who do hinder you? From obeying the truth. It makes sense because you just you, you deem it to be true. You accept it to be true. It makes sense. It's logic. Right? So if that be the case, then who's stopping you from doing it? From obeying it. You're not gonna believe, you're not gonna obey something you don't accept to be true. So if you do accept this to be true, what's your problem? What's stopping you from applying it and getting the, and getting the result that you see? Are you listening? I'm going to get into that. Let me speed up because I want to I want to cover this right here. He said, listen to this, y'all. He said, let us therefore fear. When you're fearing about something, that means you're being conscientious of something because you don't want it to happen. You're trying to avoid something from happening that going to cause you habit, going to cause uh, uh, um, you some pain and suffering. Hello. Yeah. Amen. Listen. 
He said, let us therefore fear lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest. What does it mean to enter into God's rest? Peace, joy, happiness, having a having a successful life. Amen. That's what he promised the Israelites. And we're gonna go there. But let's 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 get tuned in first. He says, let's he says, uh 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 let a promise being left you. See, God made promise. We're gonna find out what he promised. Being left you, um, 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 being left you to enter into his rest. Um, any of you shall seem to come short of it. What does it mean to come short? Say it loud. Miss it. You missed it. You came short. You know, you throw that thing and, and you came so short. No matter how close you got there, if you didn't hit it, you still missed it. And if you miss it, you're going to do without it. The only way you're going to uh, accomplish it is by hitting it. Not getting close. But you got to hit it. Are y'all listening? He says, you fear it. You being conscientious that, that, the, that the promise that God left you, gave us, that, that we're not going to miss it. We got to take conscientious, be careful, be watchful, making sure we cross the T's, dot the I's, making sure that we, we, we follow the instructions, the system, in order to achieve the promise that he left us. And we know the promise is a promise for us to have a successful life. All of the, you go to work in the morning time, you went to school, you do all this stuff, towing and toiling and, and, and working hard and whatnot. All because you want a successful life. You want to live good. Hey, hello. And, 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 and out of all you do, it's still not guaranteed that you're going to get the success of life that, you, that you're working so hard to accomplish. Because you're doing what you think you should do. You lean into your own understanding. You're not acknowledging God and doing what he say do. See, the benefit of acknowledging God and doing what he say do is because God is never wrong. Amen. And he's not in error. See, we could be wrong. We'd be in error. But God is never. So if he's giving you a sure word, hey. sure instructions, yeah. sure instructions that are going to cause you to succeed, then what you got to lose to follow it. To obey it, you have nothing to lose. Listen. Listen. He says, for unto us was the gospel preached. Listen. Right now, the gospel being preached, right? Amen. The gospel being preached. Listen. I'm not ashamed of the gospel, for it's the power of God given unto salvation to those that believe, right? Unto salvation to those that believe. I already explained what that means, right? If y'all want to know what it means, I'm on Facebook, and we recorded this. So, uh, uh, um, Check with uh, with uh, Sister Maxine because she she be following my Facebook page. She don't she don't went on my Facebook page and listen to sermon that I preached years ago. And then she always she called me talking about word. She want she be want the word. The word. I got I got I got a question, Bishop. I got a question. Um, what about this? What about that? And then she challenged me too. I said, Oh Lord. Then I have to beat her up. <laughs> Then she get hard headed. Then I have to beat up. I have to show a strip on top of strip on top of strip. Then she said, "Oh yeah, now I see it." Okay. I said, "If you see it now, this doesn't this doesn't happen. How many times this doesn't happen? Now? You know, track record. We always got to check our track record, right? Now, if someone done, 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 you done challenge someone numerous of time, and they always be proving that they correct, then you shouldn't challenge no more. You start asking questions. Well, explain that to me. Not not no, nah, that ain't so. That ain't so. You know, but you should say, hey, now, instead of saying it ain't so, just say, explain it to me. You know, explain it to me. You feel what I'm saying? Don't be like, don't be like uh, Zacharias that that, 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 that wouldn't believe what the angel said. But Mary, Mary, she asked, how could this be so? Explain it to me. Zacharias say, uh, say, how is this? This ain't true. You understand what I'm saying? Make sense? I thought so too. Amen. <laughs> but anyway, let's get this right here. Listen. Y'all listen now. Listen. It says, 
For unto us the gospel is preached. The gospel is preached to you because it's the power of God given to you to have a successful life. Giving you instruction, telling you what you must do in order to have a successful life. So the gospel being preached to you to empower you to have an assess, a successful life. Listen, he said, as well as unto them. He's talking about the old um 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 who came out of Egypt. The old Israelites that came out of Egypt, the ones that died in the wilderness. You understand? He said they had the gospel preached to them too. They had instructions. But they always error. They always did wrong. Always disobeying. And God got fed up with it. And he cursed them. And said they would not enter into his rest. He swore to himself that they, because there was no one greater. Listen, let's read up a little bit more. He says, for unto us the, was the gospel preached uh, as well as unto them. But the word preached, the word that was preached to them, did not profit them, did not benefit them. Giving them instruction, telling them what they must do to enter into the, to the promised land, did not benefit them. Why? He said, did not benefit them, did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in, in them that heard it. They didn't mix it with faith. What is faith? Faith, faith without works is dead. So it's talking about them applying the instructions, obeying the instructions. So you can have faith and your faith is dead when you don't apply it. You get all of this faith and you're just sitting on it. All right. It ain't going to do nothing for you as long as you're just sitting on it. <laughs> you're, just, you're just sitting on it and think things going to happen because you, because you know it. Oh, I know that. I know that. Okay, if you know it, then do it. Show it. Yes. Pro proof is in the what? Yes. Put it. Put if you know it, put it. <laughs> don't 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 show me your faith by your by your words, but show me your faith by your works. Yes. Prove that you got the faith by, by the life you're living, the things you're doing. Yes. Are you listening? Obey it. If you trust God, then then then, then and, and you seek it for success of life. And if you trust him, he's telling you what you must do to have it. So if you trust him that he's right about what he's saying, then apply what he's saying. Yes. Listen, let me speed up because I'm running out of time. And I said I wasn't going to go over. Listen, he said, but if you ask me for more, I'll give you some. <laughs> Listen, he says, but but not being mixed with faith. Okay, let's go. Um, um, do we get that? Oh, one more. Okay, it says, for we which have believed do enter into his rest. What is it going to take for us to enter into his rest? Believe. Y'all caught that. I like that. Y'all caught it. That's what I'm talking about. You always look for the nuggets. The one that believe is the only one that's going to enter into his rest. And what do believe mean? Smarty. Say it loud. Apply what you know. It means to obey it. So it's the ones that obey the obedient ones. Woo! The obedient ones are the ones that are going to enter into his rest. And what is his rest? God taking sure. care of you. Yes. You having a successful life. Yeah. See? The system of God calls you to have a successful life when you apply it. Come on, come on. Listen to what he says. The one that obey him is the one that's going to enter into his rest. As he said, as I have sworn in my wrath, he was so angry that he swore why he was angry that they weren't going to enter into his, his west. Disobedient because they always messing up. And, they, and people say, well, you know, ain't nobody can be, be perfect. We all sin. Who, where do you get that from? You understand? And, and, and if nobody can be perfect, all, everybody going to always sin, then why God getting upset when people sin? Amen. He cursed the Israelites for for, uh, for 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 four hundred and ninety years was it four hundred and ninety years? Four hundred and ninety years. He cursed them. He cursed them. When David was praying, when Daniel was praying for him, uh, uh, God said, "No, I don't determine they're going to be cursed. They got to live this curse down for four this this punishment down for four hundred and ninety years." He said, "Until they learn to stay away from sin." But how how is it? That man can't live without sinning. If God said, I'm going to teach you to stay away from sin. 
to not to sin no more. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. You know, use common sense and nothing else. You understand what I'm saying? Listen, he says, um, if they shall enter into my rest, you know, he said, although the works were finished from the foundation of the world, God already done, 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 done set everything in order. He already made the way. All we got to do is follow the instructions. The instructions will lead you there. It'll lead you where you already made everything ready. It's already ready. Your success has already been done. Amen. All you got to do is follow order. Follow what? Who said that? Say it again, Willie. Follow what? Woo, really bad. <laughs> All right, listen. Let's go to uh, the sixth verse, six and seven. Six and seven. It says, Seeing therefore, it remaineth that some must enter therein. It still remain in that rest that God is talking about. The success of life that God promised his people, his people. Who are we? We are the people of God, right? He says, he says, uh, 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 sin therefore it remaineth the, 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 uh, that same that, that, uh, some, that, uh, that some must enter therein and they to whom it was first preached entered not in because of what? Disobedience. What would keep you from living a successful life? Not the disobedient, not following the instruction. Sin is disobedient. Sin is the only downfall of man. Sin is the only thing that'll keep you from having a successful life. If you can get the sin out your life and keep it out, then your life will be successful. You won't have to worry about living a defeated life. Listen, listen, let's go a little bit more. He says, um, Again, he limited a certain day, right? He limited a certain day, certain day, saying in David, today, listen, 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 not tomorrow, today. He said, today, after so long a time, as it is said, today, if you will hear his voice. Are you hearing his voice today? Yes. How are you hearing his voice? Yes. He say he that hears hears the preacher man. He say you hear him because because the word that the preacher man is giving you is not the preacher man words, but it's his words. So you hear his word. I am an ambassador. I remember some young lady had talked about ambassador one day um, last uh, 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 resurrection Sunday. She was talking about being an ambassador. I still remember that. Who who said that? Band is grand. All right. All right. Let's go a little bit. He said today, if you hear his voice, today, if you hear his voice, do what? Harden not your heart. Don't turn away. Don't set it off for another day. Do it today. You understand? See, when people set it off for another day, your heart is getting harder. See, your heart can get so hard. Until you get to the place of no return. Amen. See. Now you don't have a heart for God. Your heart is sealed. You understand? Don't, don't matter what happened. You don't have a heart. Because you didn't resist God for so long. Rebelled so long. Listen, let's go to, to the ninth verse. Then we're going to go over and look at some of these promises. I think I got 5, 10, 15 minutes. I got 15 minutes, right? Okay, good. <laughs> boss, boss said I got 15 minutes. <laughs> All right, let's go. Ninth verse. It says, There remaineth, just in case you might think, well, well, that was back in the old testament. That ain't for us today. You got people like that. They're always trying to challenge you. You hear me? So now you got to spell it out to them. You got to show them proof. And you got to show them unfallible proof, proof that they cannot deny. Yeah. Then they say, oh, oh, okay, now I see. Okay, listen, he says, there remaineth therefore 
a rest to the people of God. We are the people of God. Jesus did not loose us from the laws of God. He loosed us from the curse of the law. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, whosoever disobey the law, break the least of this law, and teach man so will be, be least in the kingdom of heaven. But he that obey, see, obey first, and then teach others to obey will be great. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. The promise that God made back then is still active today. Amen. We can still enter into that rest Amen. of success when we live the life of obedience Amen. in everything that we do, not compromising. See, you got to keep it real with yourself. See, you know, Amen. you know what you challenge with, you know your weakness, you know what you're doing wrong, you know your slip ups. You got to take it to God in prayer. You got to say, Lord, help me. Lord, help me. I don't want to be like this. I know I did. I, I would always uh, um, uh, on the level that I want today. There was a time I had to struggle with my, with my, with my obedience lifestyle. But I refuse to live a life that's not pleasing to God. I know that God is calling for me to obey him totally. Amen. No compromising. Amen. He said he's coming back for a church yes. without yes. talking that mic. Talking that mic. Listen, what is it? Spot or wrinkle. Spot, wrinkle, or you left out one more. Spot, wrinkle, what? Blemish. Spot, wrinkle, or blemish. No contamination. Mm. So if he's coming back for that type of church, right? And the Bible says, whosoever has this hope in him will purify himself even as, even as he is pure. Right. You know he's pure yeah. and you want to be like him. Yeah. So you need to be purifying yourself, yeah. modifying the deeds of the flesh. Yeah. And the Bible says, after you done did all you can do, that's when God is made strong. That's when he yeah. come in and help you do what you can't do. Amen. So ain't no excuse. We can do it if we try. Amen. Practice make perfect. If you never practice, you will not never be perfect. You got to make your mind up. I'm gonna do this, and you got to be dogmatic. My God, dogmatic. Dogma. I remember when I was coming up, man. I, I just couldn't let nobody whip me. I don't care how big they was, man. I, I get dogmatic, and I get in there, boy. We go to fighting. We go to fight, and then the bigger guy he be beating me, right? And it, it, it hurt. He hit me, it hurt. But I went quick because I just couldn't let him whip me. Man, I start fighting harder and faster Amen. until I overcome him. I make him yield. He's all right, man. You win. You win. I went running. Amen. <laughs> Listen, that's how you got to be. <clears throat> you got to be willing to fight, not quit. Be determined. That you will not be defeated. Oh, no matter how bad it hurt. Yeah. You got to be a, 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 a good soldier. Yes. You got to you got to be able to to uh to to uh to, to, to be of a, a good soldier, uh able to, to stand the the, the uh the, 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 the pain in the in in the in the, in the uh, uh hardship. Yeah. We got to we got to withstand the hardship like a good soldier. Yeah. Yes. Are you understanding me? We can't just we can't back down and give up because it get hard, get tough. No, we fight, oh, we fight back harder. Fight. Yeah. Ain't nobody, you ain't gonna whip me, bro. If you do, you won't know you've been in a fight. <laughs> you ain't you're not gonna go out somewhere and brag about it. You gonna go and tell somebody y'all yeah, whipped him. They say, man, you 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 mean to tell me you whipped him and you look like that? <laughs> For real, I'm telling you. This is where you're going to have to be. You understand? You can't back up. That's why people say, ain't nobody perfect. Who you think you're talking about? You don't know everybody. Ain't nobody perfect. You don't, do you know everybody? You don't know everybody. The only thing you're talking about is yourself. You know things about yourself that you ain't, that you're doing ain't right. Amen. Amen. And that's why you consider ain't nobody perfect. You think everybody like you. Yeah, right, right, right. Everybody ain't like you. Yeah. <laughs> You understand what I'm saying? See, see, you ain't who I'm supposed to be like. I'm not trying to be like you. I'm trying to be like Jesus. I'm trying to walk the purpose. 
You know, we laugh and whatnot, but this is serious business. Amen. You know, we got, we got, we, 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 God, Jesus has sacrificed a great sacrifice for us to have this, this successful life. Let's don't just let his sacrifice be in vain. Let's get what's rightfully ours. It's ours. It's ours for the taking. Let's take ours. Amen. Where I'm at. Anybody know where we at? Oh, let's go to, um, we're going to speed up now. Let's go to Joshua. I got I got 10 minutes. Well, nine minutes. What are you talking about? <laughs> Pastor, get your wife. Pastor, get your wife, Pastor. Pastor, get your wife now. Yeah, Joshua. Thank you. <laughs> Joshua 1. All right. My favorite chapter in verses. Everybody should know it. Because I always go to it because it's good. You know, when things good, you always go back for more. Amen. Now, what I heard, how they say it was good, went back for some more. Okay, here it is. Listen closely. He says, Only be thy strong and very courageous. When you're courageous, you don't back down, you don't quit. You know what I'm saying? You say, let's get it on. I remember when them cats, uh, big guys, they they, they, they they don't know better. They thought they had a little soft because I was I was soft, you know. I talk soft, and nice, and everything. They let my kindness. They thought my kindness made them think I was weak, <laughs> pastor. And they they say something out their mouth and say I was very sensitive, still is, but I was very really sensitive. I couldn't stand for no one to insult me because it hurt my feelings. And the only way I knew to get him up off me was to fight. I got my sister right there. She's 10 years older than me. She know how I was. I ain't played. My whole family left me alone because they said I was crazy. I, I wasn't crazy. I just wasn't going to take no abuse. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't going for that mess. But they, they say something out their mouth. They ain't got no business saying hurt my feeling. They don't even know why I'm acting like that. that my feeling, you done hurt my feeling. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, at first I, I said, what you say? I don't know. I'm talking up loud. I'm all quiet and looking all timid and everything, but when they do that, man, I stand up like a lot. What you say? And they have the nerve to say, I'm already walking over there. They have the nerve to say it again. I'm <laughs> <laughs> See, you got to be courageous. Oh, yes. Came back down. The devil's already defeated anyway. Amen. You fight the devil, a person that's already defeated. Amen. All you got to do is stand up to him with the word of God. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Listen, listen, I got to hurry up. He said, only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do, that thou mayest observe to do, that thou mayest observe to do, that thou mayest observe, observe to do according to all, according to all, not some, but all the law. Listen, he says, listen, he says, which Moses, thy servant, command thee this day. Turn not from it to the right hand. Far to the left, you can't turn away from obeying. Amen. He says that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou go. If you observe to do all that is written therein and don't turn from it to the right or the left, you will prosper wheresoever you go. Doesn't matter where you go, you're gonna prosper. Amen. Eighth verse, he says, Listen, these are the keys to our success of life, our prosperity of life, our success of life. Is to meditate in the word of God, to learn the word of God in order to obey the word of God and don't compromise the word of God. It's not some of the word of God, it's all the word of God. Amen. Totally. Yes. Amen. In order to do that, you got to deny yes. yourself. See, 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 the reason why people can't obey God totally because they're trying to please themselves too. Yes. And you can't please yourself and God. But and, but the thing about it is everything that God tells us to do is for our own, for our own, for our, own yes. our own benefit, our own good. Yes. Amen. Everything he tells us is for it's got us our best best interest in what? Our best interest in mind. Everything that God did was, was doing it for us to be successful. 
all the laws and rules and regulations that he made, it was for us to be successful. Because, because if we if we don't abide by those laws, rules, and regulations, we we'll self destruct. We we'll destroy ourselves. Listen, listen. He says, "This book of the law." Do y'all know any other book known to man that, that that's supposed to have the will of God written in it besides the Bible? The Bible is the only book known to man in the whole wide world. The whole wide world that has the will of God written in it. You understand? Listen. This book of the law should not depart out of your mouth. There you go. See, first it says that, that you should observe to do. One. Then it says it should not depart out of your mouth. Two, because every word that you, every idle word that you speak, that man should speak, he should give an account in the day of judgment. That judgment is talking about when the devil go before God and accuse you. You have to give an account for the idle word. What is the idle word? Anytime you say anything that's contrary to what God says, it's an idle word. Okay. See, you, you by your words you justify, by your words you condemn. Be conscientious on what you say. If God said by his stripes you were healed, you got no business saying that you got any type of sickness or disease. You don't stand up and say, well, I, uh, you know, I, I got this sickness. The doctor said I got this cancer. The doctor say uh, uh, I got this. The doctor say I got that. Man, the Bible say make every man a lie and God be true. Amen. I know some of y'all might already know this. All this that I'm teaching now is just a renewal. Y'all probably already know it. You understand? I probably already know it. You don't you don't need it to learn it over maybe just renewing your mind. You understand? But but respect the others that do need it. Amen. Amen. But anyway, listen. He says, This book of the law shall not depart out of that mouth, right? But thou shalt meditate therein day and night. We be, we meditate day and night because we can't do what we don't know. So we got to get to know, right? So uh, then, then after we get to know, we got to apply it, right? With our action and with our words, right? He says, that thou mayest observe to do, again, going back to that observing to do, according to all, not some, but all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Not before then, but after then. You ain't going to make your way prosperous before then. Before you meditate therein to observe to do all, and you ain't gonna and you ain't gonna uh, um, be successful having a good success. You understand? If they're a good success, also a bad success, right? Okay. Amen. So now I'm gonna hit this right here because I got about two minutes. <laughs> I do. I really do. I got two minutes. I've been watching the clock on the wall, <laughs> and I don't cheat. I'm not a cheater. <laughs> Listen, listen, I'm going to hit this real quick. I'm going to hit this real quick. Deuteronomy 28. That's another one of my favorites. These are the promises of God that he's telling us that we must fear that we that, 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 that unless um, 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 we come short thereof, come short of these promises. We want we want these promises of these promises is what will cause us to have a successful life. Amen. Now I got to go and hurry up because I'm running out of time. It says, and it shall come to pass if, if. Thou if, see that's a condition, if thou shall hearken diligently, carefully, not carelessly, but carefully. You watch it, you apply yourself carefully because you want to make sure that you dotting all the I's and crossing all the T's. You want to make sure that you're doing it exactly like God said. Not lacking or adding to any of it. You're not taking away and you're not adding, but you're doing it exactly the way God say. Listen, he says to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set you on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee. If, if, there's a condition again, if thou shall hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Um, he says, um, um, bless shall that be. He began to tell all the blessings, all the all the all the good stuff that's gonna come upon you if you 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 uh, willfully obey him without fail. Amen. Amen. We follow me. Amen. 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 I ain't gonna go into all that. Y'all read it for yourself. That's your homework. Amen. Amen. Listen. Now let's go over here 
for the hard head people, the ones that will not obey. Let's find out what's going to happen. Listen real quick. 15 verse. Listen what he says. He says, but good if you're hard headed, but if you're stiff necked, but if you're just rebellious, uh, what's going to happen? He said, if you're hard headed, stiff necked, and rebellious, he said, it shall come to pass if thou shalt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord, thy God, to observe to do all the commandments uh, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, punishment, shall come upon thee for your disobedience and overtake thee. You ain't got to do nothing but disobey, and you ain't got to go look for the curses. The curses are going to find you, and they're going to come on you, and they're going to stay on you, and they're going to do what? They're going to stay on you. He say, the curse shall not be. Uh, uh, matter of fact, let's go. I got to skip a little bit. Um, I got to take you down here to the, uh, to, to the 22nd verse. 22nd verse say these curses are gonna come on you, these punishments are gonna come on you for dis for your disobedience, and they're gonna and the Lord that God shall smite thee. Who gonna do it? The Lord that God gonna do it. He's gonna smite thee with a, 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 a consumption and with a, a fever and with a, a, a formation. He's gonna try with all these things, right? And he says, read on down, he says, and they shall pursue thee. When something is pursuing something, that means it's coming after you. They're going to pursue you. They're going to come after you. Yes. Listen. And they're going to keep on coming. You it, you remember the old people say, if it ain't one thing, it's another. Yeah. 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 They're going to pursue you. Yeah. He say, he's going to pursue thee until thou perish. Yes. Mm, that perish means until you're dead. Yes. Now, the, 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 the principles is these principles we just pointed out. The fact that a matter is, examine yourself. Wow. Are you getting the blessings, the blessings, or are you getting the curses? Blessings. Once you examine yourself, do it, do do examination of yourself, and you come to reality that that you get curses instead of blessings. Now you got to go and see what am I doing wrong, and make correction. Amen. Don't be in denial and say that you're not in error when you're not getting. The promises of God on the blessing side, but you get the promises of God on the cursing side. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. Let's let's keep it real. Like the young people say, keep it real, keep it 100. Mm -hmm. Keep it 100. S seek help for yourself. That's what ministers is for. Call someone, call a minister that you can trust in to to uh, to, to 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 counsel you yes. to help you figure out. What's wrong? Um, you understand? Amen. So you can make corrections so you can get what God promised you. Amen? Amen. 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 I'm finished with this teaching, but I'm going to open up the floor. Because if anyone is here that have not accepted Christ in their life yes. as their personal Savior and Lord, because they got to be both. You have a lot of people they want they want they want the Lord to save them, but they don't want him to be Lord over their lives. They want they don't want to obey him, submit themselves in total obedience. Because in order to submit yourself in total obedience, you got to deny yourself. You can't do the sinful things that you desire to do. The Bible says, any man come out to me, he must deny himself and take up his cross and follow him. You understand? See, 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 accepting the Lord in your life. It's the same as getting married. When a person get married, they come to the front of the altar in the church and they make vows. Yeah. They make commitments to be to be what? Loyal. Come on now. Come on. Come on. See, 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 there's a requirement, things that you must do in order to get married. But then there's a thing you gotta do in order to stay married. Amen. Amen. And that's the that's the part that you promised to do when you was getting married. You promised to be what? Loyal, faithful. You understand? See, so now a person has to make two decisions to do what it takes to get married and do what it takes to stay married. It's the same principle. Living a Christian life. You do what it takes to become a Christian. To accept Christ in your life, now you got to do what it takes to keep him in your life. Ain't no one saved, always saved, bro. 
If one say, if one save, always save, then the Bible won't say that you'll blot your name out the book of life. You got your name written in the book of life when you accepted Christ. But you get your name blotted out, erased out when you start living unfaithful. The Bible said this adulterous generation, unfaithful generation. See, you gotta you gotta live faithful. And if you happen by mistake or offense. To stumble and fall to do something wrong. He said, Somebody said, I'm right here. Repent. He's right here. He said, You have an attitude with the Father, the righteous. We can come and confess, Lord, I messed up. Not to continue in it now. You don't messed up today. You should not let the sun go down. You should repent before the sun go down. Don't continue in it. Anybody can mess up. The problem is not to mess up. The problem is you continue. Uh, you continue in therein. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. See, that's how grateful, great, graceful God is. How great He is. How graceful He is to forgive us Amen. if yes. if we happen. But we are not to make a practice. We are not to make provision to sin. We are not to plan to sin. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Amen. 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 So if anyone is here today and see the thing about it, um, everyone has to make a decision to get married. A person can't marry themselves. <laughs> Both parties got to agree. So let's do this. See, Jesus already agreed. He's waiting on you to come into agreement with him to save you. <laughs> see, see, he want to save you. Yes. So he waited for you to come in agreement with him for him to save you. He already want to save you, but he can't save you unless you want to be saved. Amen. You got to want to be saved. You got to want to be saved sincerely. <laughs> Don't get married if you ain't sincere. And then if you don't marry this person, you go and be unfaithful. You dogging them out. Like they don't have no feelings. You doing things to them that you don't want done to you. You're nasty. Give me a close up, Pastor. Give me a close up. Even you got me? Yes. You don't do things to people that you don't want done to you. If you treat people in such a way that you don't want to be treated, you're nasty. Amen. And I said it. And I stand by it. Amen. You're nasty. Amen. 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 So if anyone is here today and you desire to sincerely make Christ your Savior and Lord, you can come forth now. Amen. And if you don't, that's fine. You understand? Because God don't want you to take his name in vain. Amen. He wants you to take his name sincerely. When a woman that married a man, she take on his name. It is a shame for her to take his name and don't live faithful. Amen. Yes. You understand? Amen. 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 Will there be one more? Anyone else? And don't feel pressure. Don't feel pressure. Don't feel pressure. You do this based upon your decision. It's your decision. Nobody else's. Because you got to live this lifestyle for yourself. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, if you do, you won't regret it. God going to be right there with you. He'll help you all the way. Amen. And he has great things in store for you. Great things. Okay. The same way that people come up and get married, they say they vows. You want to say a vow to the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that whosoever call upon his name shall be saved. Amen. Then he said, how can they call upon, how can they believe in someone they don't know? So if you have you have heard enough of Christ to know that he is the son of God, that he died and rose for you. Amen. That he died for our, your sins, that you can be forgiven when you repent. 
when you repent mean that you're going to turn away from living a disobedient lifestyle. You no longer going to live a disobedient lifestyle, but now you're going to live an obedient lifestyle. Amen? Amen? Now, now you, 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 you're going to forsake sin. You're going to forsake your way. And you're going to live God's way. You're going to read and study your Bible every day. Come to church faithfully to learn God's way of doing things. Amen. And, 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 and if you do your part, God will surely do his part. He will surely do his part. He will never leave you off a seat. He won't turn his back on you. And he won't deny you after you done did your part. He will come through for you. Amen. I want y'all to just repeat uh, this after me. Say, so Lord Jesus, I come to you a sinner guilty of sin not just the sin I, I have committed but I'm guilty of sin because of the sin that Adam committed and I'm in need of a savior and Lord I thank you for sacrificing your life in, the, in, 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 in replace for my life I thank you for going to hell in my place. Lord, I accept you today as my Savior and Lord. I turn my back on all disobedient acts and I turn my face, my future, my, my purpose to obey you. In everything, in everything I do for the rest of my life. The, the, of my life. the Bible said, now your name is written in the land book of life. Lord, and the angels in heaven are rejoicing. Amen. 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 Your name will not be taken out of the land book of life Amen. by nothing and no one except you. And you want, you're not going to take your name out of the land of the life just because you make a mistake. The only way God will take your name out of the land of the life if you make it a habit. If you turn your back on him and make it a habit. He said, Jesus told the disciples, he said, now I have washed you and you are indeed clean. He said, now all you need to do is wash your feet. That means if you make a mistake, get your feet up, just clean, just repent. Amen. When you see that you done did something wrong, you instantly repent and you come back in right standing. If you find yourself struggling with a situation that's more stronger than you, you go to him in prayer. You fight that thing and you do all you can do to stop. You understand? But the Bible said when you weak, then he's strong. He'll come in and help you do what you can't do. Take him God in prayer. Don't never quit. Amen. Man is always praying and not quit. Don't never quit. God is rooting for you. Amen. And you can do it. Amen. Amen. And this is what the ministers is for. You, for whatever reason, you got a problem or whatever, a uh, concern, you come to the, the nearest minister. Call him. That's what the pastor is for. The pastor is a shepherd, a, 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 the caretaker of your soul, your life. To help you live that life that God wants you to live. Amen. To teach you and help you to get over the hump. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Pastor, I want you to come and pray for me, please. Amen. I want Pastor to pray for y'all. Amen. Come a little closer. Come on, Pastor. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Father, I come here right now, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for each and every one of our fathers. Lord, I thank you for your word, Father. For I know you're not a man that you need to love, but you thank you just to perform all that you have promised. Lord, you say, whosoever come, let him come to no wise castle. Lord, I thank you for him, Father. Lord, I ask you, Father, to reveal yourself to us in the world, Father. From this day on, Father, let us have godly encounters of you, Father. You are filling yourself to, to them, filling yourself known to them, Father. In Jesus' name. Father, I ask your Father, I thank your Father for renewing their spirit, Father. 
the Lord, you said that, that many was baptized and baptized unto his death. Lord, to walk the news of life, the old man be crucified. Lord, I thank you for crucifying the old man, Father. The old sinful man, the sinful nature, Father. Giving them your nature, Father, your spirit, Father. Claiming and owning them as your own, Father, by your spirit. And I thank you for it, Father, in Jesus' name. Lord, as they continue to walk in obedience to you, Father. Lord, I ask you, Father, to fill them even the more, Father. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless everyone. Thank you, Pastor Davis.